Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a video to see if it's possible to have two Logitech racing wheels on a PlayStation 5 to do split screen two player racing. So at the moment, this is possible on Gran Turismo Sport using the DualSense controllers. So if you wanted to play on the console with a friend or family member, it's a pretty cool way to do it. What I've done is set up my two Logitech racing wheels and I've got the G29 and the G923 set up on my next level racing foldable sim frames. The ones I've got here are the GT Lite and the FGT Lite. The key difference between the two is that the GT Lite only has one position, which is the GT position, whereas the FGT Lite can be placed in the formula position or the GT position. I've reviewed all these items, including the wheels and details for all the items I'll be showing today will be in the description below, including purchasing links. Now the SIM frames are really cool and the position can be adjusted on them for a comfortable driving position, they also allow you to bolt each of the items on instead of using the clamps, hence allowing things to be much more stable as I've found the clamps can become loose after a while. And once you've finished playing, the frame can be folded away for easy storage. I do highly recommend them, but you don't have to use them. You could just attach them onto a table. With all the cables coming off the items, it's definitely worth using Velcro straps to tie the cables to avoid tripping over them or catching the cables against someone which could damage it. I set up the wheels, pedals and shifter, but you don't have to get the shifter as both the wheels have paddle shifts, but I've set them up so we can confirm if it works. Connecting the wheel to the console, I've always found the USB cable to be a little bit short on the racing wheels. So I've got two of these two meter extension cables, which are really useful to have. Everything is connected up. So let's get started. I'll turn on my PS5. Both the wheels are calibrating. So that's a good sign. Now at the signing screen, let's get one of the wheels connected. Player one is normally on the left, so I'll press the PS logo on the left wheel that's connected. And that's worked, which is no surprise. Let's see if it's possible to add the second wheel. And pressing the PS logo, it's picked it up. Now let me select an account. And it's all looking good so far. Let's start up Gran Turismo Sport. Go to arcade two player split screen, select our track and car. Okay, so now it's looking good. It's letting me select a car using the wheel for player one and player two. We'll go for manual so you can test out the shifter and let's start up a race to test this out. So testing each one out, it's looking good. Wheel, pedals and shifters working for player one. Now let me shift over to player two. That's working as well. So wow, both the wheels, pedals and shifter work perfectly. I'm really impressed. Wasn't sure if it would work. So let's test this out and jump into a race. The experience is really good split screen, but personally I prefer having the whole screen to myself as it gives a more immersive experience, as it can seem a little bit weird having two smaller screens. But saying that two player split screen is a lot of fun and a more social way to play. 
So there you go, you made it to the end of another video and a big thanks for watching and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of setting up two player split screen with their Logitech racing wheels. Great to know it does work. If you drop me a Logitech split screen in the comment and a like on the video, I know you're still here supporting me and I'll give you a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and on the bell icon, select all notifications as you'll be notified regarding any new videos I'll be releasing. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.